Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you an NATN workflow that will automatically write blogs and post also on your WordPress websites. So earlier what used to happen, right? We, we didn't have time a lot, right? To write post and post it on our WordPress website. So we used to hire some agency or some, you know, content creation person who used to write it for us right on WordPress because it's really time consuming. So I have created an edit and workflow that automatically does it for us. We don't have to do anything. We just have to set a time that this runs every two days and it will automatically run it. Let me show you how right now. If you look at here on my screen, this is how the edit and workflow looks like very simple. I'll show you step by step what you have to do to get these things done. Now, before that, I will show you what it has written. Okay, so far. So I'll go to this website. It's called quadrix.ai. On this website, you see this last blog, which has been written, Unlocking Enterprise Potential, the rise of agentic AI and why it matters now. This has been written by AI. I haven't written it. Okay, if I click on read more, this website that you see, of course, I have added this image and this image can also be added. Maybe I'll leave that up to you, but I'll show you how you can add that. But this is what this is what it has written. You can see how beautiful this blog is right now. It has written on based on contextual information. So it's not that it writes anything and it hallucinates. It's not like that. I will show you. You can see this beautiful blog post on a WordPress website live. This is the company that, you know, I kind of advise and I you know support them and it's a it's a big company, uh, it's a startup, and they have been using such workflow live in production because they don't want to spend a lot of time, you know, on writing blog post. So I have used this NATN work, NATN workflow, and this is a copy of it. There are more notes, uh, you know, to that one. But of course, I will guide you how you can do that. If you don't know what is NATN, NATN is a workflow automation platform that helps you build workflows. Now, workflow is not a new thing. Right, workflow automation is not a new thing. Automation is a very old, you know, kind of a terminology. We earlier used to use rule-based automation or RPA, robotic process automations, or natural language-based automations or conditional automations. Nowadays, we are talking about AI agent or AI automation or agentic AI automation. You know, all of these three are very interrelated, but they are different. But I'm not going to go in that in-depth technical terms. So you can use NTN on cloud or you can self host it cloud 14 days free after that 25 26 dollars per month self hosted completely free but there is more of a you know developer uh, you know a profession you have to bring in a little bit of developer experience to kind of self host in your own cloud or server or machine whatever but here if you look at this i have a schedule trigger you know on the left hand side so it works from left to right okay this one you know, on NET and workflow. Now on the left, I have a schedule trigger. So every two days, you know, at 5 p.m., this workflow will get triggered. Triggered means it will automatically run every two days. And on the right hand side, I have a WordPress blog post. It means it will write on the WordPress website. Okay, that's what it does. Simple. Now it's based on AI agents. Of course, you can see an agent node, right? If you want such templates, you know, that can do everything for you, just sit, relax and focus on the business, focus on making right decisions rather than, you know, building to, you know, tools and getting into it. If you are somebody from a business profile, I have created this NATN workflow templates bundle. Right now, there are more than 90. I have to update this. It has, you can see AI agent to publish blog on has node, you know, AI assistant, auto summarizations, you know, it has faceless YouTube channel template. So if you are somebody who wants to create content and make money, you can also use NATN you know, templates like faceless YouTube channel, extract transcript, you know, you can find out, you know, LinkedIn auto post or automatically post on LinkedIn for you. You don't have to do it. Lead magnet, create leads and, you know, put it on your uh, CRM tools like uh, HubSpot or Apollo IO. You know, we have RAG, we have, you know, agentic RAG, we have resume analyzer, more than 90 beta tested. It, it has all been tested and it all works. Okay, you will not get any red error until you make mistakes with API configurations. This will all work. Okay, these are only really tested and you can use it for different processes and whatever work that you want to automate. So if you need that, find the link in video description. Okay, so this is crazy, right? Now, let me show you what we are doing here. Automatically writing blog and posting it on our WordPress website. So we have an AI agent. Now, AI agent 
is nothing but LLM based nowadays or multimodal based agents. Okay, like multimodal means it can understand text, images, videos, and audios. Okay, so you can look at here an AI agent will have uh, LLM or any kind of multimodal model. So we are here, here we are using Gemini chat model, Gemini model, right? Now I don't want to write any random, you know, blogs, right? I don't want to hallucinate. So I want, I have given two things here. I have given this agent access to latest information from open internet, public internet through a service called Tableye. So Tableye basically says connect your LLM to the web. Okay, it's basically a provider or it's a data provider. I can say that latest data provider. Okay, you can get the API key. It's free to use up to I think 1000 or 2000 queries per month. Now, I have also given it my own context. So let me show you that. You can see it has our context. I will explain that to you. You can see Codrix AI solutions in the prompt itself. So what, what we have done here, and this is a copy of it. We have a vector a database, you know, that, that in the production that, that is uses it. So you, you can also create your own context. Like let's say your company context, guidelines, policies, and about your products and services. You can give all this information, right? And combine that with latest information. And it writes a blog. So blog is nothing but on this topic. I wanted to write on agentic AI topic because I want on this website from an ACO standpoint, search engine optimization that people, whoever is looking for AI or agentic AI services, they should be redirected to these blogs. Of course, the, you know, to these websites through the blogs. So that's what it does here. Now, once you run this agent node, we have a code. Basically, it has to, it just passes the JSON, okay, and give me the output the way I want it. And here I prepare that a payload. Okay, so you have to create a payload, uh, like a format to post it on WordPress. So if you look at here, I'm saying first line is my title, the first line. Blog is the content and there is a status. And then I have this one. This is the most important one. Now what we are doing, if you are using WordPress 5.6 plus version, then it automatically has a REST API available on this wp-json-wp-v2-post. This is for every website if that is 5.6 plus. So you can see if my website name is Codrix AI, if I run this in a browser, it should return a JSON. If you see this, codrix.ai slash wp-json-wp-v2-post, it, if it returns a JSON like this, then it means that you are supported, you are compatible, your website is compatible. And then I created a generic credentials type here, select that, click on basic auth and create your WordPress credentials. Now this is the tricky point. So on WordPress credentials, go on your dashboard, you can see I'm on WordPress dashboard. In the user section, you can find out your users. Your username remains this, you see this username, but your password will not be this password. Your password will not be account management password. You have to get an application password. So if you don't know, if you don't see application password, you have to go to functions.php that is available in your appearance and sidebar. Uh, no, not sidebar. Theme file editor. Go to theme file editor and select your functions.php. In the function.php, you have to go to the last line and just click on this. Just add this, this, this code. Add underscore filter. WP underscore is have a look at this. Of course, you would have taken a screenshot if you're interested by then, you know, uh, and you can just add this and update file and you will see what I was just showing you. If you go to users, let me go to all users in the all users. If I go to this users, you can you can find out now this application password. You need application password. You don't need account management password. Now in the application password for the first time, you have to create a name. So I've created an NTN bot and it will automatically generate a password. Take that password, come back here and put that in that WordPress ka auth. In that WordPress auth, you have to put it here on the password. Username remains same. Okay. And that's it. That you don't have to do anything. Just have to do JSON title and JSON content. Okay, you can see body. I have just made it strict. So I'm not using expression over here for the name, for the value I have been using it. So these three things and it automatically does it. Now when you run it, when you run these things, right? It will take a little bit of time, of course, you know, to kind of get the web search, write the blog and create the payload and post it to WordPress. When it posts to WordPress, you have to make a few changes that I leave up to you because you can then invest a little bit of your time and of course add media into it like images. 
you can add media you know you can add a little bit of formatting so formatting is important you have to do formatting but let's say if i just go here i just refresh this page you can see it's all green all green means that it has successfully ran always remember that so you should know that it's all green that you have successfully built that workflow and similar workflow guys more than 90 workflows on a very affordable price nobody is giving you at that price you know and people are just scamming if you go to other facebook channels if you look at facebook right they sell faceless yt channel for two thousand dollars which is like doesn't make any sense you know i've created a youtube video on that right if you look at my channel go and watch that faceless yt channel i have given the json for free in that description so you can find it out now if you look at here on home codrix you can find out this blog here you can see this blog that we have written, the autonomous leap, why agent TKI is re redefining enterprise operations. So the blog is there, but the image is not. So you have to put in banner or a thumbnail cover or whatever we call it. So it automatically writes the blog. So if you look at this agent, right, I'll show you the output. This is the output it wrote, the autonomous leap. You see the autonomous leap, why agent TKI is re redefining enterprise operations. If you go to this code, it fetches the text only. And here it basically creates in this format, title, content, and status. Title is the first line. And then your content, the markdown format, this become your content and status is published. Simple guys, right? Five minutes, we have successfully ran this workflow and created this uh, blog and posted on our WordPress website. The only thing is you can also automate this, just add the uh, media thing as well in the code and just get it done. But that's how we, that's how we can automate guys on a right post automatically and post it on our WordPress website. So we don't have to hire a content creator or a agency to write it for you. Let me know if you have any question, thoughts or feedback. Okay, happy to help. Get that Anatel workflow template bundle from the video description. And please hit the like icon if you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe the channel and share the video and channel with your friends and to peer. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.